Everything that we need for medicine, Hippocrates had it right. He said, let food be thy medicine. And if Hippocrates were alive today, I think he would be pretty sad to see where our medicine, had, what it has turned into. And so I'm going to give, introduce you guys if you don't know about it. Do you guys know what the most, uh, number one most nutrient-dense um, green leaf on the planet is? Kale. So on the nutrient density list is number one. Collard greens is number two. Watercress is number three. Spinach is number four. So the main reason why this is number one is because of that dark color green. It has more chlorophyll than the other green leaves. So what I'm going to show you guys how to do in this drink is we're not going to cook it. We're going to mix some things together to make it taste better. So collard greens is number two. So we have one, two, and then I don't have watercress, but I'm going to put in spinach. I'm putting number four. Now spinach, if you're going to go and make these green smoothies, this is a really good one to use because you can make spinach taste fantastic with very little, adding very little stuff to it to make it taste good. So, and then I'm going to put in a little zucchini. Any squash is exceptionally good for your body. It's low with vitamin A, but um, you want to leave on the stem. The stem is like the umbilical cord, the roots, the seeds of everything. Like when you guys eat strawberries, you guys take off those green leaves? You're not supposed to. Those green leaves are green because of chlorophyll, remember? For the same reason why that's green, that's green. And so chlorophyll has the same molecular structure as a human being's blood. So that little, that little leaf on the top is a superfood on the top of your berry. Those little seeds inside the uh, strawberry are loaded with phytonutrients. One little seed has over 95 phytonutrients. You guys like uh, cantaloupe? You know the seeds in cantaloupe? They have more protein ounce for ounce of red meat. So if you have protein, if you're protein deficient, if you don't have this around, you can take one cup of uh, cantaloupe seeds and three cups of water and you can blend it up and you can make your own cantaloupe seed milk that is really good for you. So we're gonna put in some zucchini. And I always go like this when we're, and this is geared towards everybody. They go, oh, what a great trick for my kids. I go, get out of town. You don't eat vegetables either. This is a good trick for everybody. So you go like this. If you can hide it in your fist, you can hide it in your smoothies, in your milkshake. I'm gonna show you guys how to make a milkshake next. Lemon and lime are different than all the other citrus fruits like oranges, tangerines, and grapefruits. The skin actually tastes really good. So you want to use the whole thing. So we'll put that in there, and that's going to dominate a good portion of the drink. That's what you're mostly going to taste. And then when you peel an orange, you definitely don't want to peel an orange like this with your fingertips. Because if you do, you're going to take off almost 100% of the vitamin C off the fruit. A lot of people think that the orange, there's vitamin C everywhere. It's not true. The vitamin C in the orange is in the uh, thin white part around the outside called the pith. It's where about 78% of the vitamin C and the calcium is in the fruit. You guys like cilantro? If you don't have cilantro at home, you can use grass from your backyard. It tastes exactly the same. Just kidding. So this one is the best vegetable for um, pulling toxic metals out of your body. Here's a superfood, ginger. So when you're, when you're juicing, you don't want to put in all the skins. Some skins you can't clean, like cantaloupe skin is terrible. Even if you buy um, organic, it could have E. coli. It's growing in manure. You, you can't clean up the bacteria and the pesticides. The same thing with the banana. And when it's infumigated and it comes on the banana boat, the pesticides and the bacteria go inside the skin. So thank you very much. So I go, thick will make you sick, thin throw it in. So all thick, porous skins, pineapple skin, cantaloupe, you're going to take off. Thin skins, even garlic skin, you would leave on there. So even though you normally take it off, you shouldn't. 20% of your antioxidants in garlic is in the thin skin. Also, great natural remedy for sleeping better is if you eat raw garlic right before you go to bed, you actually sleep better. You guys ever heard that? Yeah, because you sleep alone. All right, and then uh, I'm going to put in some ginger. So really good for ulcers, really good for your stomach. All right. So in an apple, there's over 387 nutrients in this apple. It's one of the healthier fruits around, but here's the kicker. If you skin an apple and you core it, your body gets less than 50. So you need the thin skin. You need the seeds. And so you can either take a fork and a knife and eat this every single morning after waking up with frosted flakes every single day before that, or you can take it all in here and you can throw it into this machine. <clears throat> so we're going to take the thin skins, the seeds, everything. We're going to throw them right in there. All right. So you guys familiar with superfoods? These things are awesome, but there's something that's even more awesome. They're called superfoods. Goji berries, maca, spirulina, blue-green algae, um, mangosteen. There's a lot of them out there. But um, here's one right here, bee pollen. So bee pollen, raw honey, and royal jelly. 
Those are all in the superfood list. One of the highest antioxidants in the world. You get tons of enzymes in this stuff. And so I'm gonna throw a little bee pollen in your juice. And this one I'm gonna use is not my favorite sweetener. It's my third favorite. My favorite is like I told you is raw honey, but I didn't have it, so I'm using this one. So raw honey is number one, the healthiest sweetener in the world by far. If you're vegan, you go, well, I don't need anything that comes from bees. Well, I'm so sorry to hear that. That's the healthiest sweetener in the world, so you should learn to change your thinking about that a little bit. Stevia is the second best. Stevia comes from a leaf of a plant. It's all natural. So if you don't like the flavor of it, you can learn to like it. And then agave is the third best. And so the thing about agave, it's natural. It comes from a plant. There's nothing else added to it. But um, it's very low in the glycemic index, too. So it doesn't spike your insulin levels to the roof. And then I'm going to put in ice. Now, when you're making these juices, um, you can use any kind of ice that you want. I highly recommend, that if you can find it, using the fat-free, sugar-free ice. It seems to be the best, right? <laughs> All right, and that's that. All right, so, what's that? And, and, and the cold. Oh, the cold, you want it cold, too. That's the other one, that's right. All right, so I'm gonna put a little water in there. So, here we have this beautiful concoction of all the healthiest fruits and the vegetables and the seeds and the skins and we made sure that we left on the thin skins and we put in superfood. Oh, forgot to put in my protein powder, the best part. So <clears throat> this is the best protein powder out on the market, hands down. It's sprouted and I'm sure you guys all know when you sprout something, it increases the nutrient value significantly and it's fermented. So the absorption value is snip way higher than if you were to use any other protein powder on the market. And it's, using the, and, and it's using no soy products. So if you go to get a, a vegetable-based protein powder, usually they're made with um, some sort of a, a soy-based protein inside of them. Soybeans are terrible. Soybeans and corn are the two things that have been destroyed the most here in the United States. So you want to stay away from all soybean products, all whey products, and this company has really done it. It's now you have the perfect drink. So we're going to turn this on, and there you go. Have you guys ever heard that the more you chew your food, the more nutrients come from your food? All right. So this machine has chewed your food 100 billion times. It has broken it down to a cellular level is increase the bioavailability. So when you eat an apple, naturally, your body can only digest less than 40% uh, less than 40 of the nutrients from that apple. But if you take an apple with the skin, the seeds, and the stem, and you throw it into one of these high-powered emulsifiers, and you drink it immediately, you don't want to sit there and drink it the next morning or wait three hours to drink it again. The sooner you drink it, the better, and you get almost 100% of everything that is in that fruit or vegetable. All right.